Becoming a medical doctor after being a nurse is more common than you might think. Have you considered transitioning from RN to MD? Nursing is an excellent career option and most people consider it as fulfilling. It plays a very critical role in the healthcare delivery system. However, if you consider switching careers from being a registered nurse to a doctor, then you should know that being a doctor is a new area and also has a lot of opportunities to explore. In this video, what I'm going to do is I will give you an in-depth look at the path of transitioning from a registered nurse to a medical doctor. In future videos, I will talk about the salary outlook and the program options. Hi guys, so um, my name is Jerry and I am a testimony to this journey. I was a registered nurse and originally I'm from Ghana in West Africa and currently I have marched into a residency program to begin my practice as a medical doctor in the United States. So um, I have what it takes to give you a thorough guide to, to transition from being a registered nurse to a medical doctor. Now let's get started. So if you are a nurse, then you might be having your BSN, which is the Bachelor of Science in nursing degree. I know that not all nurses have this degree. Some have associates and some also have diploma degrees. But nevertheless, they can all transition. Now let's talk about someone who has a bachelor degree already. So if you have a bachelor degree, you are likely to have, if not all, most of the requirements or the prerequisites for the medical school. This qualifies you to um, take the MCAT, which is the Medical College Admission Test. Now, some of these courses should include biology, science, physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, and um, also sociology, psychology, art, and second language courses are also uh, recommended. And then I'll leave a link um, in the description of this video so that you can check the prerequisites for the medical school. So if you are also someone who does not have the bachelor yet, there are options or accelerated programs that can help you get this uh, prerequisites done and that would qualify you to write the MCAT exam. The MCAT is an exam that is taken as a prerequisite. So um, you need the MCAT in order to apply to uh, medical schools. Now, with the MCAT, you also need other things to add to it. So the single most important thing is your MCAT score, but then you need other things to add to it, and we'll talk about them as well. Most medical schools require the MCAT as part of the admission requirements. Now, the MCAT is a computer-based uh, test, and it takes about seven and a half hours in length to take it, and you should give yourself an ample time to study well uh, for this test. Now, completing this test is very necessary and uh, for your application into um, the med school. Now, also preparing for the prerequisites um, can also prep you for your med school uh, at the same time. So it's a very uh, good thing. Like it helps you to pass the MCAT, also helps in your med school because most of the subjects will help you in um, your uh, med school. Before taking your MCAT, you need to investigate the MCAT score that would be accepted by the medical schools that you will be applying to. Generally, a score of 511 and above is considered good for general application. You might want to go a little bit above that, so you need to give yourself enough time to prep well for this exam. The MCAT can also be taken several times. And so um, that is another thing that you need to also know. After getting your MCAT score, you need to go to the website of the American Medical uh, College Application Service website and um, you do the application for your medical school. Your application would 
come with a lot of requirements and some of these include your background information like the schools that you attended your biographic information um, you need your pre-med cv and you also need your mcat score your transcripts from your um, previous schools personal statements letters of recommendation or evaluation and standardized uh, tests that you have taken also um, also and uh, whilst you prep for this mcat if you are a nurse already then you would have been working if you have worked that is um, good enough for you to get some letters of recommendation from whoever you have uh, worked with if you have also not practiced you can also decide to shadow some um, doctors also and uh, because medical schools wants um, a well-rounded uh, student they want a student who has a lot of experience even volunteering um, to work in your community and all that also plays a very a big um, role in your um, application after you have submitted your application the medical schools would review them and then they will invite you for interviews if you qualify for their a program some medical schools might go a step further to invite you for further assessment tests or um, multiple interviews so you should do an investigation to know what uh, the medical schools do before you uh, make the um, application after gaining admission into the medical school then you will need to attend the medical school for four years by the end of the four years you would have taken the usmle which is the united states medical license exam step one and step two before you graduate the four years program after graduation the four years program you put in application for a residency program um, in the u.s depending on whatever residency program you want to do ranging from internal medicine surgery family medicine and so on and so forth you can put in applications in the ERAS website and ERAS website also has um, this same uh, application that looks like the medical school application where you need your letters of recommendation you need transcript from your med school and you need um, like US clinical experience or just general clinical experience from wherever you trained uh, you need letters from your med school you need evaluations and and all that so you put in this application and the residency programs would also um, read the application and if you meet their requirements then they invite you for an interview um, after the interview um, you get a chance to rank the programs based on your preference say if you get three five six ten people get up to 20 interview invites you need to arrange them based on your choices so if you want uh, to go to one program uh, over the other then you rank one of them first you rank the next one second and they feed all this into a computer system nationwide and medical students are distributed uh, based on their preference and also the preference of the residency uh, programs they match into residency where they can go into training to uh, become the doctors of um, the choice of the area that they, they they have selected during residency medical students or say residents are compensated they are paid um like a residence pay which is not as high as the um attendance pay but then it is something to put food on the table and also be able to pay uh, for your rent so so that you can survive during residency depending on the residency program that you chose say family medicine internal medicine or the part that you want to use you can stay in residency for from three years to up to seven years for surgery and also after some of the residency programs you can go into fellowship where you sub specialize and depending on how long you stay generally that's how it looks like the longer you stay in your training the um your, your salary is kind of like equivalent to that that might not be true for all programs but generally that's how um it looks to me this whole thing might, might look lengthy but it might take um somewhere for somebody who is not a nurse say like between 10 years 
and say up to 17 years depending on the path that you have chosen to become um, a doctor but as a nurse say you have already done your bsn so you already have your four years done before you took your mcat then you do another four years of your medical school and that puts you at eight years then you do say three years of residency that puts you at 11 years if you want to go into fellowship then you do about one to three years that puts you about uh, from anywhere from uh, 13 years to 14 15 years so yeah um, that is how it looks like but um, every step in the journey is very interesting and um, i don't regret any step that um, i have gone through it's difficult it's hard but it is doable some of us have done it so you can also do it so uh, i hope this video is helpful this is just a general outlook in the future videos i will talk about salary comparison and also the program areas so that you can appreciate it better and then you also understand uh, whatever you should expect when you um, start this journey although it is a long process nurses have an advantage of bedside knowledge and also bedside manners and that helps in their practice as um, doctors so if you are an RN and you are considering uh, switching careers then I would say uh, becoming a doctor is something that you might want to um, give a try and from my personal experience I would say it is worth trying thank you for watching this video I uh, kindly share with someone who it might help uh, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video i'll see you again in future videos good luck in your journey bye